Hello race cars, welcome back to another overnight video. It has been about a month and a half since my last overnight video and I really have no excuse for that. I filmed this, this current one that you're watching right now, December 24th, Christmas Eve. Not, no, it was like December 23rd going into the 24th. So not, I didn't spend Christmas day sleeping in the woods, that's what I'm trying to say. But basically, uh, it's February 4th now, so <laughs> it's been a while since since I recorded this and I'm finally getting around to editing it. Our sub goal on this video is 40 likes, that's a four zero, or four zero, whichever way. But if we can hit that, that would be amazing. And then you might just see another overnight video if you guys really enjoy it. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Let's get right into the video. Cool. Yeah. Hey race cars. Welcome back to another bushcraft video. Today I brought a friend, Mike. He's a good friend of mine, also a subscriber. And that's the reason why I brought him. Um. We're going into these woods and we're gonna try and survive the night. We have some dinner. We have to make a fort and a fire and all the things you saw in the last video. So let's get going. Okay, so we're entering the woods now. We're gonna try and find a shelter before the sun sets. We have about, what time is it? We have about two hours until the sun sets. So it should be plenty of time. Now there's two of us, so that'll be very good. Uh, oh, I think I found a spot, Mike. So, I see this this area right here. There's, we'd have to do a lot of clearing out. That's the only problem. Uh, it's an option. Let's set our stuff here, and then we can walk around for a bit and see if we can find a better spot. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need a pee. Could you record me peeing? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. This this might be a better spot actually. Um, what if we laid sticks in between these two, so like from here to here. Okay. Like just laid like, and then we could slide underneath them. And then look, we don't have a ton of clearing out. And then right on the edge here, we could put a fire, so like a fire at our feet. Okay. Let's our yeah. Let's go grab our stuff. Okay, so first things first, I think we should try and clear this whole area out. Because last time I was sleeping on like leaves and stuff and there were spiders crawling in the leaves and it was not fun. <laughs> okay, how about this? If you, if you go start looking for sticks that could lay across from here, then I'm gonna clear this out and then I'll come and help you once I'm done with that. All right, so I'm done clearing this out. I think our heads are gonna go over there, feet down here, and then I'm gonna build a little fire here. That's where we'll be cooking dinner and everything. Mike's been gathering all of the sticks and stuff to lay across. Now, I think I'm gonna start creating a nice springy mat on there so we can sleep comfortably tonight. I'm gonna use a mixture of sticks and leaves, like little twigs and leaves to make that springy kind of mattress feel for the for the beds. All right. So that's it. I just made the springy bed with uh twigs and everything.
Most of these stick across the top. Plus, it's always nice to like have something to lay next to. <laughs> and then we put the other one right behind it there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the shelter is complete. Now the next thing to do is get the fire started. And we're gonna cook dinner and just chill. I, we have done so much in so little time actually. What time did we come out here? Three? Jesus, <laughs> so it's been it's like only an, been hour. an hour. Oh my God. Wow. All right, cool. Okay, now, now how do we keep it going? That was definitely our first attempt at making it. So it's getting a little darker out. Um, we got the fire going. Check this out. And if you see those things that we set up around it, that is going to be our dinner. Well, we're not eating the sticks, but we're actually gonna make shish kebabs tonight. We have some steak, chicken, pineapple, wait, and then some bell peppers. Guys, look at this. I just made the first shish kebab. I haven't cooked it yet, but that's what it looks like. Look how good that looks. There's uh, steak, pineapple, chicken, and then uh, peppers. All right, look at that. They're roasting over the fire. We're trying to not burn it like that right there. It's burnt, but it's doing all right. It happened, it dropped in. I think it's a goner. This is actually good, because now I can test it. I wanna test this. That tastes so good though. Does it? <laughs> so good. Mm. We just ate the first kebab. I kind of forgot to record it, my bad. Very undercooked. So yeah, we're just slowly cooking them because they keep falling in. But yeah, so they're they're slowly cooking. So we decided to cook up the rest of the the shish kebab stuff in a pan because we're still hungry. All right, we are heading to go wash up these dishes from dinner. Uh, <clears throat> there's a river nearby. We're gonna we're gonna clean it up in that. And then on our way back, we're going to collect firewood and then go to bed because because we are exhausted from building the fort and it's been a productive day. Honestly, I could have gone for more pineapple. That was so good. Yeah. Okay. I just slipped and fell in some mud. <laughs> that. Oh, my God. Okay. Hang on. How did you not sit? Oh, you didn't. You went on the rock. Yeah, You're, smart. The rocks. You're smart. You're <laughs> smart. We got that situation fixed. Um, my sleeve is wet. My socks wet. But it's okay. I guess I'm sleeping with one one wet sock tonight. It's no big deal. Dope. I know that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Fire in the back. Yeah. All right. So we are. I don't know if you can see it, but we're currently underneath the fort right now. 
We are extremely tired because we built this fort. This is this fort is so cool. So amazing. So amazing. <laughs> so yeah, we're probably gonna hit the hay. Hopefully sleep really good. Um, so far this feels really comfortable. Um, but yeah, if, if we wake up throughout the night, we'll we'll keep we'll keep you guys updated. Until then, we will see you guys in the morning, hopefully. Ooh, it's fogged up. It's really cold. Hang on, how do I get... Hey guys, hey race cars. It's race here. 12.32. And this is the longest night's sleep I've had in a long time. Mike's right here. And I think he's in the same boat. So I gotta pee. I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna go back to bed. Yep, hopefully this is the last time I check in with you. Alright guys. So it's 7 a.m. We could honestly not sleep any longer. It's it's pretty cold out right now. Yeah. And then if you take a look at this, look at um, actually, I don't know if you can see, but if you can see that kind of grainy, whoa, <laughs> that's so cool, look at that. Uh -huh. Oh. So, <laughs> no, it's just me. So, if you can kind of see that, like, grainy stuff flying across the screen, that's not because it's dark and it's, like, but that's actually, like, a little misty rain. And it's really cold, so we're gonna get out of here. Um, I'll probably do the outro inside. But just one last look at the fort here. So yeah, out of the two forts that I've done so far, this is my favorite, definitely. And there's a the fire, Mike. All right, let's get inside. Yeah. Hey, race cars. Good morning. And here's Mike. We just completed the overnight in the woods, which you guys saw. Um, I forgot to give you proof that it was actually seven when we got up. So I took a picture of my, of my watch when, when we got back up to the house. So here's the picture now. Double check that you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Which camera is it? I don't know. Peace out. <laughs>